I thought the team conflict exercise was fascinating. Uh, first of all, because um, I learned about game theory in, um, I think it was high school, um, on lecture series on macroeconomics. And the whole idea, one of the things they talk about is the prisoner's dilemma, which is where um, you know, if both prisoners don't give each other up, they both get a year. Um, if they both give each other up, they both get 10 years. And if one gives up the other, then they get even more time. It's in each individual prisoner's best interest to always pick the thing that um, gives them the least amount of time, which is always to give up the other person. If they give up the other person and the other person doesn't give them up, they get less time. If they give up the other person and the other person does give them up, they get less time. So you'll always reach an equilibrium. And in this context, it was they were talking about something else, but it was applied to stock markets because what the um, what they kind of figured out was that um, companies would do the same thing. They would push down the prices until they reached an equilibrium at which it wasn't the best for all the companies, but the companies had to drive down the prices in, in order to you know beat up the competition. Um, in this case, it was the same thing. It was in everyone's best interest to actually pick their own stock price or, or stock time for a crash. But no one really seemed to realize that until Ken mentioned it. Um, I would imagine that everyone would have been fighting for their own and have some, spending loads of time making sure that they were able to get their own because if you don't pick your own time, then you're guaranteed to lose. It's always in your best interest to actually say this is going to be the best time, even if you think you're wrong, um, because there's a chance that you're not and that you'll win that you know thousand dollar discount. And I thought that was really interesting. I think that that speaks to testament on the communal nature of MET that we're becoming closer, and that we're making sacrifices for ourselves for for the sake of this community, in terms of being a part of it and being accepted, because that would be the trade off. Is you know how much community accepts you versus, I guess, how much your monetary gain is. I think that says a lot.